Hi friends, in this tutorial we'll create a simple Apache Camel application to transfer files from one folder to another. For this we'll make use of the Apache Camel file component. So our objective will be Apache Camel application or copying files from one folder to another. This tutorial will divide into two parts. In the first part, I'll explain what is Apache Camel. And in the second part, we'll do the implementation. So what is Apache Camel? In a previous tutorial, I had explained this. In this tutorial, we'll go through it again. Apache Camel is a mediation framework. So what is a mediation framework? In an enterprise, a number of systems of different types exist. Some of these might be legacy systems while some might be new. These systems, they often interact with each other and they need to be integrated. This integration is not at all easy as the implementations are different, their message formats are different. One way to achieve this uh, integration is by writing the code which bridges the differences however this will be point-to-point -point integration example consider we have two systems a legacy system and a new system now we can write the code which will bridge the differences and uh, help the integration of legacy system with the new system but suppose if tomorrow any changes happen to this legacy system this entire code will have to be changed and refactored for integration with the new system so here is where Apache Camel comes into play. Apache Camel acts as a mediation layer between the legacy system and the new system. We'll now have a look at what are the features of Apache Camel. Apache Camel is a lightweight framework. It can be deployed on a variety of containers like Tomcat, also different ESBs like uh, JBoss Fuse. The main feature of Apache Camel is that Apache Camel provides us with a number of components. These components make interacting with different endpoints very simple. For example, we can use the ActiveMQ component to expose an ActiveMQ endpoint for interaction with the external systems. There are more than 100 components provided by Apache Camel. Apache Camel uses message exchange for, uh, patterns. Uh, Apache Camel Exchange can hold any kind of message. It supports a variety of formats like XML, JSON, etc. Also, Apache Camel provides many different type of converters for marshalling and unmarshalling the message during routing. Routes in Apache Camel, they can be written in two ways. One is Java DSL and the other is Spring XML. In this example, what we are going to use is Java DSL. In future examples, we'll make use of Spring XML. So let's begin with the implementation. For this, go to Eclipse and create a simple Maven project here. Next, we'll have to add the dependencies here. For dependencies, you can go to my website javainews.com. Here I've mentioned the dependency. For this project, we require only a single dependency, that of Camel Core. So we'll copy this dependency. We'll build the project once. Next, we'll create a class to construct a route. Now, what is a route? A route is like an instruction definition to Camel on how to move the messages from one point to another. So here we'll create a class first. We'll name it as Simple Route Builder. This Simple Route Builder, it should extend the camel route builder class we'll import this we 
also we'll have to add the unimplemented methods inside the configure we'll configure the route that we have to write for transferring files from one folder to another we'll make use of this site so here i have defined a route to copy whatever are the contents inside the c input folder to the c output folder also here i have defined loop is equal to true now what this loop is equal to uh, true does is that it tells that the transferred file should remain in the source folder even after the transfer that is it tells us to copy paste contents from c input folder to c output folder if loop is not if loop is not specified or if it is given as false then what will happen is all the contents will be cut and pasted from the source folder to the uh, output folder if loop is equal to true camel will set the indo potent is equal to true as well to avoid consuming the same files over and over again so let's copy this route next we'll have to load this route into the camel context for this we'll first have we'll have to create a default camel context and then load this route so for this we'll create a new class i'll name this as main class and also the package is main so here we'll first have to create the camel context we'll create uh, an instance of uh, simple route builder that we defined earlier to this camel context we'll have to add the route builder so let's copy this So now let's test this application. So what it should do is it should copy the contents from the input folder to the output folder in the C drive. If currently if you look at my C drive, it has no input folder and no output folder. So let's start the application. Okay, so it has started. Now if you go here and if I do if I refresh this we'll see that an input folder has been created now what i'll do is i'll just copy a file to the input folder and i'll go to the c drive we'll see an output folder has also been now been created and whatever was copied in the input folder has been copied to the output folder so our application is running properly now what we can test one more thing is i'll just stop this application and now i'll remove loop is equal to true from here i'll just go to the input folder i'll just delete whatever were the files here even in the output folder i'll again delete the file okay and now we'll again start the application so it has started there's nothing in the output folder nothing in the input folder I'll copy this control C from here to the input folder. And if you now you will see it has now been consumed from the input folder. It has been cut pasted you can say from input folder to the output folder. Previously this was not the case. So our application is now working correctly. You can uh, download the source code from uh, javanews.com from here. Hope you guys have uh, understood this tutorial. Thanks.